Ooh, Florian got him in the middle of a reload. That sucks. That happens to me so often. We got BFTB coming straight down the tracks, pushing right up the train tracks. We got artillery coming in for Invictus, hitting a little low, hitting a little south. Uh, Invictus, a little more spread out, pushing up through the buildings. Let's get a little closer. I'm hearing some rockets go off. Ooh, okay, so BFTB has got one squad down here on the south side. Invictus has got a little bit down here to watch them, nothing to really intercept. See how this goes. It looks like maybe they'll push up here and then up this hedge here is my guess. Maybe they'll push up to the next hedge, but that's pushing it a little close to out of bounds. I don't think that's out of bounds. No, that's not out of bounds. So they could push all the way up to this road if they want to. In the meantime, Popel goes down. Viking goes down. First casualties of the match. Let's get a little closer. So Invictus, they took control of the main courtyard first for train station. Seeing a lot of grenades go off. BFTBs kind of pushed into this courtyard. Alexander trying to play it around. Looks like he's shooting. We got this squad that's down here now pushing up. They are pushing up this road. Oh, gotta remember how to do the speed. They're pushing, so they're actually kind of backing up. Invictus, they pushed straight through, circled all the way around, have BFTB fully enveloped taking complete control of the train station. I'm just going to speed up and get behind Invictus and look over here to the west since they're all pushed in. Got some rockets going off. Got uh, Molly Bob going off, shooting rockets at Kamak over there. Edric gets taken down, I think, by Janus. Ooh. Rockets going off. Shit's fucking happening, man. It's exciting. Fucking rockets and bush shooting. People going down left and right. I don't even know who to look at. Shift over here a little bit. Jan is pushing up the trains, trying to get a little closer to the courtyard. He is a squad leader, so if he can get his OP up in there somewhere, he can get a spawn in and they can get a good push if it does not get found. We got uh, Golf, Wicker Golf, W Q E R. Like, is that pronounced different in another language? Because to an American, I'm just like Wick, Wicker, Wicker, Wicker Golf, J 4 N N I S. See, Sometimes, that's the thing about the internet, man. Sometimes people will spell their names and you're like, do I pronounce it? Is it a metaphor? Like, Invictus pushing out around on the south side of the tracks. Uh, BFTB, they still got control of that house down there. So there's the cap for Invictus. All OPs were just lost for BFTB. Still trying to push up the tracks. They've got a machine gun in this building here. Now, that window overlooks all of tracks. We'll see how long Toka can stay in that window before somebody pops his ass. we got Popel up here by the train station building. I'm hearing shooting. Not seeing a lot going down. There's just some hanging back. Somebody's throwing grenades at Popel. I don't know if it was Edric or Kamak. Mm, excuse me. We got Piso, Piso, Piso. Looks like he's throwing some smokes. Yeah, throwing out some smokes, trying to get himself some cover so he can push up, or at least so his team can push up. He might be throwing diversionary smokes. I do that quite often. I mean, this would be a suicidal way to push up. They already cleared him out from here once. Popol just up there. I don't know if he's just calling things in. He's looking the other way. Did not see Edric pushing around him. Edric didn't see him either. Maybe heard the shots. Popel just up there holding his position. Here's some rockets going off. Shit's getting a little hotter down here on the south side. Valhalla. Valhalla. I recognize that name. I'm not sure why I recognize that name, but I do recognize that name. We've got Har... Har... Search... Shurkart. Sir Cart. Sir Cart. Get them. I can't. I hate that it cuts off their name, so I don't actually know what it is. I apologize to all of you players. I've only seen a few of you on the match. I don't know any of your names yet. I see a lot of the Invictus guys just kind of hanging back, holding their position. They just have like one squad that's pushing up. Kind of looks, to me, it looks like they've got a squad over here on the west pushing, one squad up here in the center holding. 
And another squad down here on the south side holding. So that'd be Nelson's squad holding. The original up here holding on to the back side of train station. BT, BFTB is just funneled into these buildings. This is, I mean, there's a lot of like area to move up here, but it just funnels you into this choke point here, which you see Edrix taking control of the north side. BFTB is trying to keep hold of this area down here. They get some OPs up in here. They can start maybe pushing around through the south side. Sir Cart, Sir Cart taking a rocket shot at that train, maybe at Edric up here. He's just holding up, spotting things at the moment. All right, somebody's taking down. It looks like Popple went down at that train station up there. Wicker Golf kind of holding on easy up there. It's a little bit of a fight going. I'm starting to develop right here. Everybody, every shit's getting close. Got Molly Bob, Jord, Harkos. Harkos goes down for Molly Bob. Got George kind of holding back, holding his position. I just saw him take a hit. Didn't see who got him. I saw a BFTB guy go down there. LC pushing out around, trying to flank behind. He gets taken down. Ooh, ooh here we go. We got some that south side just getting a little intermix. Nelson pushed forward with his squad. He ran into him. Let's. Ooh, wrong button. Let's get down here. Take a little bit of a more zoomed out look from the bottom. From the, all right, so now we're looking north from the south. They're holding on to this road, like I had kind of said that they would maybe do. Like how I'm backtracking with my with my uh, suspicions. They might do this. Oh, they didn't do it. Ah, I never suspected they'd do that, anyways. <laughs> uh, anyways, they're still uh, Invictus still holding on to the train station. There's still a bit of a fight going on here, really close in by this uh, southwest corner of the point. So the circle is actually right here by this warehouse. Right by that water tower you can see. So as you can see Invictus, that's a really strong hold on the actual point. Some rockets going back and forth. There's a little bit back and forth, some smokes and stuff going on down here, but most of the action is right here in the center. They're just fucking World War I trench warfare going on right here. Just damn near you're gonna see some k bars and shovels coming out in a moment you got rushy you got b rush about to get smoked by funk but funk gets his ass jord pushing down viking pushing into this whole clusterfuck of uh, bftb guys let's back it up a little bit real quick take a look at what's going on in the south looks like bftb is just holding on to this road and uh Invictus is just kind of keeping them from sweeping around at the moment. So all of the action is just right here. Right here. Right by these houses. Now you can put OPs in this courtyard and you can't really get into it from the back. So yeah, this is where I'd expect the fighting to be. You got a bunch of guys going down right here. That crane finally got taken out. He's been spotting and sniping from there. We got... Edric was no longer up in the north, but the original is. Not sure what you think he's just spotting from up there. He's a squad leader, so he could just be spotting and marking for his team. That's my favorite thing to do as a squad leader, because I can't shoot for shit. But my favorite thing is to get a squad of people who can shoot for shit. And then I just tell them where to look. <laughs> There's enemies over there. Kill them, boys. Just watching these grenades and everything just going off right here. All right, Florian trying to push around to the right. See what happens Funk gets him. Florian takes out Funk, takes control of this courtyard. Got BFTB starting to circle around on this bottom side. They've got good uh, covering fire from these guys from this uh, from this squad, from the Hedros down here. Ermaluk trying to swing all the way around down on the south. See what happens. Let's, let's see what happens. Wallinado. Wallinator. They, they must have an OP nearby. Ermaluk takes down Wallinator. Drachi. We got our streamers down here. Drachi. Dra Dra I think it's Drachi because he's a dragon. Drachi and Ermaluk kind of facing off with each other. Drachi's looking that way. Ermaluk's running. Running past. Drachi's taking shots. Can you get him? Ermaluk's going to make that hedge. He's not a squad leader, so he must just be looking for OPs. We'll come back to that, find out who gets who. 
I want to take a look at the action up here because I see bodies flying and shit. I want to know what the fuck is going on up over here. All right, so there's still uh, BFTB still controlling these courtyards here, swinging around on the south side. Invictus is kind of pushing in the front here. If they can cut them off, this push on the south side, unless it has an OP, will be stopped. I think there's an OP right here because I think I just saw a spot in there. Invictus, ooh, swinging a miss with the rockets. Invictus trying to push in, clear this out. Let's take a look back here. Irma look has made it all the way around now, looking for spawns. Oop. Not quite in the so he can make he can go all the way up to those buildings over there. So he's not anywhere near. I hear shooting down here, and I don't see any enemies. So I don't know if that was Wallinator shooting at Ermaluk out there in the wheat field. Let's swing over here. Now we can just see him. That was a hell of a long flank all by himself. To he made it. I don't know what his I don't know what his end goal is other than maybe killing OPs, but. That was a long flank to, if you get spotted, that was a lot of time that he could have been doing other stuff. But if he gets these OPs, and it looks like he might, let's see what he does. We're going to follow along with Herbaluck for a minute. Oh, oh, and he goes down. All that running for nothing. Who got him? P Piso, Piso. P.O. sucks. P.O. sucks got him. Just gonna pronounce it like my stupid American brain tells me to. Molly Bob goes down from Funk. BFTB still kind of holding on to the south side. Pretty sure they got an OP right here somewhere. Uh, yep, there it is, right there. What's what's he shooting at? Literally, what's is he shooting at? Tommy way out there? I think he's shooting at Tommy way out there. He went down too. Somebody got him. Got Viking up here made it all the way out and around. So they're really trying to get in here and take out these OPs. Viking goes down from Juki Joe. Juki Joe. Some rockets going back and forth. Is that OP still there? I don't see that OP anymore. It was right there. So looks like Invictus cleared out that push on the south side. BFTB's back over here on the left. Everybody just kind of flip-flopped, and everybody's right back to their original positions. BFTB stopping another flank down on the south. Invictus kind of pushing in where BFTB was a moment ago, taking some casualties. Some little bit of casualties on both sides right here in the center. See a hard push coming up here right on the tracks. It's like Invictus is trying to hold on to the front door. BFTB's kind of getting a little bit of a push going on. A couple of Invictus guys going down. You got Jordan Viking pushing up to support that. You got the original still up there watching. So they're trying to jump the wall. Not seeing it. I think that might be easy. He's getting them some flank fire. Yep. Taking uh, taking down the BFTB guys right there in the front door. You got Jody trying to push back in on the south. I thought maybe Sillin was going to spot him. Ooh, BFTB's pushing hard out and around. Now... Let me think. You can go all the way up to right where Tommy is. You can't go around that hedge, but he could cut through right here. Okay, now he knows that MG's there. Sir Cart. Sir Cart, what is your full name? Where are you? Sir Cartman. I had a feeling. Sir Cartman. Takes out the MG. On his way back. All right, let's... Followed him all that way just to see him get that kill. That was fun. Kumo train is now live. Yes, I am. We're finally past the the uh, time, the warm up timer, or not the warm up timer, the stream delay. Sorry. There's always some type of timer or delay or something going on. In this case, it's a stream delay. Viking goes down. I think Molly Bob got him through the hedgerow right there, peeking that little hole. Looks like BFTB's trying another front door push. Slow things down a little bit. I really like to get that camera flying around the screen really fast. Now we've had a lot of fighting here. We haven't really got to see it good because it's been on these side of the houses. And I have that habit of looking north when I'm watching a match. So Let's just kind of hang out watch what happens here. Ooh, Florian's going to flank around behind uh, Winkle, Winkle Bear. Winkle, where are you? Winkleberry. I really wish it didn't 
shorten the names. I get why it does it, but I wish it didn't, so I didn't have to look up what these names are. Some rockets going on, some close-in fighting going on right here. LC trying to hold them off with Funk. They get it. They take it out. That push is stopped. Back it up. They're immediately pushing right back in the front door. Winkleberry goes down. I see some smokes over here by this train. Not sure who threw them. Probably BFTB. Maybe Janice. Okay, here's more shooting down on the south. Sullen and Tommy are back in position. I just saw that spot in, so there's an OP right there. We'll see. We'll kind of just, let's just back up a little bit because I want to be able to see what happens with that too. Some rockets going off down here by the tracks. Not, there's just a lot of back and forth going on in the front door still. Um, that, that OP up there is still safe. You got Cartman's pushing back up, trying to take out that MG again, see if Sillin gets him. Come on, lock on. Started the lock on and then it stopped halfway because I pushed the button twice. <laughs> See who gets who. Cartman takes out Sillin. Tommy's going to know they're close. He pops off his position. Drops down in the prone. So what you going to do, Tommy? Ew! Gets taken the fuck down from Mando. Mando was just waiting for him to do that stupid shit. Go ahead and pop your head up again. I dare you. <laughs> In the meantime, head back on over the front door. Still a lot of slugging it out right here. This is this is where the main action's happening. Got like a full squad plus a little bit of reinforcement just fighting it out right here by this building. Another trying to swing. You got BFTB trying to swing back around on the south side again. They got a I was just about to say, if they could get all the way down right here by this burned out house, this is another good spot where people like to spawn and push in. You could put an OP right here in this courtyard, and the only way to get it is to flank out and around either through there or over here. You can't push through here. You might be able to jump these walls. I don't think you can, but that doesn't mean you can't, because there's a lot of things you can do in this game that I didn't know you could do. So, <laughs> a thousand hours in, and I don't know shit. Got Funk and LC holding the center. We got BFTBs kind of split up. Half their force over here on the west, half their force over here in the east. A little bit up here on the north side. Did not see that. Didn't even see where they slipped through. I don't know if they got up and around. Got Tattoo up here on this crane. Let's see how long he can last up there. Yeah, he realized right away that's not that's not a good place to be. Turns out everybody can see you when you're up there. <laughs> Easy still holding on to this train train car. He's been there for a long time. I hear more shooting down here in the south. Dracky kind of pushing up in here. Winkleberry's facing off with him. Valhalla with the machine gun. Looking up this road. Trying to stop him. See if Wallinator can push up around this hedge and stop him. He's got to know he's right there. He's probably afraid to peek that corner. I hear more shooting down here over here. Mando and uh, Andre facing off with Irma Lock. Big spawn in for Invictus right there on their OP. So now we know there's an OP in that courtyard. Looks like Invictus cleared out that push there. Dracky went down. So got Grandpa and Janice kind of pushing around on the north side. Wicker Golf pushing in to stop them. A lot of Invictus guys right here stopping this push. Boom! That was a big hit. I don't think they all got hit by that rocket, but they all went down at the same time. Andre looking a little lonely down here by himself. Taking a look around. All right, we're starting to get a cap going on for uh, BFTB. Tommy's uh, vacating his position. I'm going to back the camera up, swing down to the south. Big spot in right here for BFTB. They put, look at that, right there, right where I said's a good spot. Turns out I'm right occasionally. Good spot for their OP, nice and hidden. They can push out from either side of that. Uh, Invictus is probably going to know they got some kind of spawn in there by now. Which is, you can see them pushing down from their spawn, which was over there. BFTB starting to get a good flank on the front, on the front door on the north side of the tracks. They kind of just swung up and around. I wish I had one of those map things where I could just like draw on the map. Uh, one of these days. I know it's like a thing you gotta download and you can do it, but one of these days. Invictus still holding on to the very center. 
there's a lot there's a lot going on right now here just like it's all right here okay okay here we go bftb starting to swing around on the south side towards the east see what they do with it i think they're gonna maybe get up all the way and around take out that op that was in this courtyard we'll see what andre does i'm pretty sure he's looking for spawns right now checking for ops their op is definitely going to be lit up draki has got to be close to it might even be able to hear it right now sullen go sillen goes down from draki draki takes down the op i saw it burn now invictus is losing control of train station i don't know where all their ops are but they definitely lost that one so they got at least one squad that's going to have to be coming in from the garrison. BFTB's got a good push going up here on the north side. Make sure I can see my chat just in case anybody says anything. I'm not super big on Twitch. I started with Twitch and then I didn't love it so I switched to YouTube. But YouTube is not very good to their streamers. It's a long story. But... Long story short, I started doing my streaming back on Twitch and then posting things to YouTube because it's it's much better for growth. It just works better with the algorithms. So in the meantime, back to the match and not my ridiculousness. BFTB, look at that spread. Look at that spread. They're just all over the point, clearing them out. Invictus seems to have some sort of spawn up here, but they're getting hemmed in up there on that side of the tracks. Easy holding this position. Got Piso trying to push him up. Somebody please tell me how to pronounce that. Please. <laughs> Yeezy goes down. Let's back it up. I hear Tommy with his MG. Invictus now pushed down here and took out this. I don't think they had that OP. I think the OP that was there is the one that was over here now, which I don't see it anymore. So they've moved that OP. I'm sure it's up, up here in the over here in the points of now. Or did they? Is it still there? No, it's still there. It just wasn't spawned in. So they still have their OP. They might lose it. Funk is moving up there. Funk is going to push right past it. I th think that counted. That oh, okay. It looked like there was a grenade that went off in that courtyard. Either way, they burned the OP. That's what matters. They burned that OP. It doesn't matter how. I'm seeing... Yeah, infantry markers. So BFTB is well aware that they're down there. Obviously, that OP burned. They got a couple guys pushing around down the south. This is like the same move that BFTB just did to them, but they're swinging out a little wider. I don't think there's anybody down here anymore. Uh, a couple of BFTBs coming in down there, swinging that way. But at the at the moment, Invictus holds on to that south side. It's like a flip flop of what this whole match is. So now the Invictus is down here in the south, and BFTB is in the center. Kind of getting a little bit of a push out on the north. I think that looked like it was the garrison. So they should be able to push. Looking straight north. It's like right here. So they can't really push past that. This crane. They can't really push past this crane. I don't even think they can push to that crane. I think that's out of bounds for them. But just for the viewer's sake. That's about as far as BFTB could push. So they are assaulting through. Might even be overextending a little bit. I, like, I understand you want to like pen the enemy in over on their spawns, but now they've got this flight coming around. Or do they? Or do they? Tattoo and Andre pushing down on the south, making sure that doesn't happen. Ermaluk, Nelson, and Alexander trying to just for force a little wedge in here. Excuse me. We're getting down to the last couple minutes. BFTB's got a pretty decent hold, and Victus is pushing hard. I think it's probably because we're getting down to the last couple of minutes, so they really want to take this back, or at least get it contested so that they can get their point. If you're going to lose, you better at least get your point. Nelson, Ermaluk, just kind of holding on this hedge here. Let's take a look at what Nelson's looking at. Just uh, kind of hiding down. Oh, he's up on a little roof. I didn't point it out, but in in these 18s, I didn't say at the beginning, 
in the future I'll post the rules, but you can't you can go on roof to rooftops, but not anything over one story. So this rooftop's fair game, but like you couldn't you couldn't get up on this building. Even if you could get up here, you're not allowed to. So Viking goes down in the point, pushing hard. Let's get back to the look. Let's back up a little bit, see what we can see. They're trying to force their way into the courtyard right here and maybe right there. But po Popol and Mando are watching that. So you got Mando, look like he's trying to set up so that he can watch this area. You got Jord trying to swing around to the south. You got about four and a half minutes left. That's plenty of time to make a good strong push. I just saw a big spawn in here. So they got their... Got, I see one OP there and one OP there. So they are pushing hard from this position. I'm sure there's another OP up here somewhere. But it looks like they it looks like they've given up for the most part on flanking tactics for this match. Like they just they gotta get in there and they've gotta start capping. Like right now. I mean not right this second. They got a little bit of time, but not much. You know, I'm looking at my timer over there, and that timer does not look the same at what I've been seeing. It's 18, 48. No, no, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm doing my math wrong. It does go to 38 minutes. No. You know what? We're just going to watch until somebody fucking says GG. It's a 30-minute match. It's a 30-minute match. It started at 18 minutes. That means it should go to 48 minutes, right? I'm just confused because I look over at my stream and it says duration 20 minutes. And I'm like, haven't I been streaming for longer than 20 minutes? Am I confused on this fact? I have been streaming longer for 20 minutes. I know what's happening. I figured it out. There's a 15 minute stream delay. It's been streaming for 20 minutes. But technically, I've been streaming for 35. I get it. And the light bulb comes on. Get a little... Oh, I can't, I can't do my... I gotta figure out how to do the sound bites to hotkeys. I can't do them when I'm in admin cam. Oh, Drackey tried to push that OP. I think he burned the OP. He did burn the OP. There it went. Takes down Winkleberry. LC gets him, but they lost their OP. That's a big deal right about now. I don't know who... The, I don't know which squad leader that was, but I don't see him unless it's Florian. I don't see his OP either. That was right there. I think they might have just lost both of their OPs. Looks like Florian's pushing back to drop an OP right here somewhere. He's going to probably get it back in this courtyard. I suppose I don't really have to watch him drop an OP. Viking goes down in the point. Uh, the crane sniper goes down. I love getting on the cranes too, but man, is that a dangerous place to be. They need to get over this wall and into this courtyard, like, in force. They need to break into this courtyard in force and push these guys out. That's their best bet. That's a lot harder. That's a lot easier said than done, of course. So here comes a big spawn in, and it kind of looks like they're thinking the same thing. They're heading right for it. Got Florian flanking around on the south. If he pops that wall right now, he's going to see all that. I don't think he's going to see it. Or did he see it? He must have seen it, because I just saw two guys go down, so he must have just got a couple kills. Still, that's a big wave of guys. I just see one BFTB guy in there. Again, you know, a lot of these guys, it's hard to tell how elevated they are. They could be seeing things that I don't think they can see. Let's drop it down a little bit. Not so bird's eye. Oh, I got myself zoomed all in, too. Okay, here they go. Push it in the front door. Big push, big push. All right, it's going to get spotted. Here comes the rockets. There's some fire going on. Rush sees them. Koi boy seen them. Alexander gets pinned down behind the propane tanks. Rock, More rockets coming in. Rush goes down. Kamak, Kamak goes, Kamak goes down. They're still trying to get over that wall. Grandpa's trying to hold him up by himself. Come on, Grandpa. Grandpa goes down. They've got a lot of guys here, about a full squad. BFTB's got more, though. They they responded to this appropriately. It looks like they're going to get it. I'm some, if I'm correct with my timing, there's 30 seconds left on the clock. I was way messed up with my timing for the six matches, sixes matches, too. I was off by a full minute for the ending time. So, you know, bear with me here. I appreciate your patience. That looked like it should have been a good rocket. Didn't really get much. These guys on the other side of the wall survived. There comes another rocket. Also, 
I think he did get him. It, there's, it must be a ping for me in seeing that the rocket hit and then he exploded. Must be my ping. I bet I probably had pretty bad. Eh, I'm 140. There's the GG. BFTB takes the first game. So we will be right back. I didn't change my break screen video, so you guys are just going to have to bear with it. We'll be right back in a minute. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Past 20 minutes. Looks like we got a squad for Invictus pushed down south. Two squads pushed up down the tracks. We got a similar situation for BFTB. Single squad pushing down the south. Two squads pushing up through these buildings to get into town center. We'll just hang out back here for a moment and see who dies first. I can see Drakey is leading the charge on the south. I see cross map rockets going on. Swing and a miss. That was all Invictus shooting rockets. I haven't seen any coming back from BFTB. They'd probably wait until they close the distance a little bit. This looks so cool with the two teams running at each other. Get them, boys! All right. Any casualties? Any casualties? Not seeing any casualties yet. Who is going to be the first? Place your bets. I think it's going to be Grandpa. He looks way out there right now by himself. Yeah, it was Grandpa. I was right. You all owe me money. <laughs> Grandpa goes down. Invictus starting to take the cap on the trade station. Uh, they pushed through. They're flanking around on the south side of the edge of map. I think that is edge of map right there. I think that kind of, yeah, there's the mine sign. So they went out of bounds to swing around. Tattoo's doing the same thing coming around behind them. I'm just going to watch this for a second. I want to see what Tattoo does. Tattoo takes some shot at Alexander, misses. They're going to know he's there. Funk is aware, turns around. Tattoo gets Alexander. Somebody got Funk. BFTB clears out the south side. They they uh, still in close proximity to each other. Invictus tried to push in the front door. Uh, I, I can't see the name. Went down. And here we go. Kind of locked back into this stalemate again. You got BFTB trying to push in, take clear Invictus out of this courtyard. They probably have their OP somewhere right back here or even in this trench. Let's get a little closer to the action. Seeing some rockets going off across the tracks. Got Rush pushing in, trying to get behind Jord. Who's going to get who? Ooh, Jord takes him out with a submachine gun. See, see, old soldier, that right there is why I like the submachine gun. That shit. Pop a corner and you don't, even if you miss, you still get him. Got Drackey, Wollinator trying to hold on to this road. Got Funk and Alexander flanking him down the south again. Let's shift over here a little bit so we can see this a little better. BFTB taking control of the center. Invictus just got a slight hold right on the corner of the point. Well, Halla and his machine gun just watching this avenue all the way up to this building here. So he's keeping Invictus clear to at least push in the front door. Big spot in from BFTB down here on the south now. There's quite a few Invictus guys down here too. It looks like the south flank is going to be more important this game. Last match, everybody was fighting in the center. So now we're going for the flank. Got a bunch of BFTBs go down. Looks like Invictus wants this south side really bad. They're really fighting for it. Alexander goes down to Tattoo. Drackey and Tattoo holding on. Drackey goes down, I think, to Funk. This is that. Andre goes down to Nelson, Ermaluk, and Sillin. Got Invictus really trying to clear out the south side. There's the OP right there in that trench. Big spawn in. Nelson probably saw that. Nelson gets taken down. That looked like a headshot. There's your old soldier. In case anybody's wondering why I keep talking to Old Soldier, he's my, like my biggest fan. He always watches my videos, and I love him. He's great. Love you, Old Soldier. All right. Make sure my camera's backed up. Let's take a look up here at the tracks again. Train station. BFTB got a good hold now. Winkleberry goes down from Koi Boy. Koi Boy goes down. It's just a big slugfest right here in the center. Rush kind of holding back. Molly Bob kind of holding back. I can't tell where he is. Okay, he's hiding behind those boxes. Let's shift back down here to the south. This hedgerow. Every time somebody tries to go past it, one way or the other, they die. So really a hell of a lot of fighting going down here. Not a lot of Invictus guys down here anymore, though. Nelson goes down from Tattoo. 
Drackey's squad has a good hold down here in the south. There's another spawn in from Invictus. Still trying to hold on to their, uh, this courtyard down here. There's this, the uh, OP. Tattoo goes down from Alexander. Andre goes down from Sillin. Uh, Alexander went down, I think, from Drackey. Cartman shooting rockets. I don't think he can see that OP where he's at. Still a lot of slugging it out in the center, too. Kind of trying to keep an eye on that and watch this fight at the same time. Let's shift over here a little bit. You can see more BFTB guys going down in the center over there by train station. More of Drackey goes down over here from Funk. Looks like Nelson's squad's trying to just hold on to their OP down here at this courtyard. I'm really surprised there isn't anybody in this house. I, I mean, I am. I, like, I know it's an easy spot to spot people if they're shooting, but if you just go up there and look, you can see all that movement and call it out. But again, this is uh, everything that you hear me say strategy-wise is what you would do in a public match. I've never played it in 18 matches, and this is the first time I've watched one, so I would never presume to tell these guys they're doing anything wrong. They're probably doing exactly what they should be doing. And with that being said, BFTB is doing a hell of a good job pushing in here. They are in that house, but I think he's just clearing it out. If he pushes up this courtyard and up that wall, I don't see the OP anymore. There was just a cap. BFTB took the cap, so Invictus just lost all of their OPs. And Nelson went down. So BFTB cleared out this courtyard. They're going to take control of the south side. Let's shift up to the north. Got... Jord trying to push past Rush. Rush sees him, takes him down. BFTB still holding on to this like south center point right here with this trench. LC pushing in the center. BFTB starting to lose their hold on the actual train station now. They're so focused down there in the south, they're actually starting to lose their hold on train station. Koi Boy pushing up, trying to keep a hold down here on the south center. LC's just kind of cleared him out. He goes down himself, but he killed a bunch of guys. Uh, BFTB still has good hold of the train station. They'll need another spawn in, though. They need some bodies in there. Invictus probably doesn't realize how short uh, short staff they are in there, but they were looking pretty pretty skeleton crew. Now they got some spawn ins. They're holding back onto it now. Invictus lost a chance to push in with caution. Not that they would know. Edric pushes up to the wall right there on the edge of the train station. Toka is holding this road with him at his MG. If, uh, be a, yep, there's, there it is. There's the other MG. I was going to say, if they get an MG covering both these avenues, they could really keep this position strong. Get a couple guys up on these further back cranes. Anytime uh, an Invictus guy peeks his head out, he just gets shot. Edric's up in here, though. Seeing if he's seeing what he can do. There's a lot of smoke down. A lot of smoke down. My voice just cracked there for a second. <laughs> like I'm a teenager and not 40 years old. <laughs> Squeaky voice teen. All right, Edric goes down. Let's back up a little bit. I think I'm too yeah, too far away. I can't see everybody. Let's get a little closer. Sir Cartman down there holding the south. Mando's in this building with his MG. BFTBs took took control of this courtyard and now they're holding it. Drackey pushing all the way out. There looks like they're they're fixing to swing all the way around Invictus and clear out their OPs that are pushing in train station for the front. Now I would caution though, they have a strong position here, and if they just hold from here up to like say this house, this house here, or even these trees here. They can keep control of this south side and still support, like, this area here to keep Invictus from pushing around the south. Now, I mean, I'm not saying that they can't push through and kill spawns, but as we saw in the last match, you can't, every time we've seen somebody push through like that, they overextend, the other team pushes out and around through where they just came from, and everybody just kind of flip-flops sides. I feel like they have a stronger position if they just hold this courtyard spread out a little bit and keep Invictus out of this entire south area. But, with that being said, Invictus is pushing in the front door pretty hard. Lose a couple guys. Kind of lost that good push. Rush looking up this road, really keeping a cap on guys trying to come in the front door. Popel doing the same thing on the north side. Drackey up there just pissing them off, though, by their spawns. I could be mistaken. I mean, if he lives, that's a thorn in their side that they have to deal with. They can't just let somebody be over there. And He's killing dudes. Let's jump on him. Now that I'm watching you, you're going to die, Drackey. 
They can hear each other. There he is. He gets him. Gets him. He's still holding that position. Let's zoom up out of here. I hear an MG. I think that's Mando in this window here. Yep. What's he shooting at? I don't know. He's taking fire. Somebody sees him. He's bleeding. You can hear him. Oh, I locked myself in the house. Got to turn clipping off. or on. <laughs> I don't want to have to walk back out the door with my camera. Oddly, BFTB is kind of doing both of what I said not to do and to do. They're, they're pushing in and clearing out spawns, but they got a couple guys holding back. That's probably the actually better choice. Keeping pressure on, but still holding their position. They're not really getting pushed by Invictus, though, is the thing. Invictus is really pushing this front door. Viking goes down from Koi Boy. Koi Boy, Molly Bob, trying to flank around Invictus through this, uh, this little orchard here. But Invictus themselves coming around behind him. I think Molly Bob heard them coming. Might have heard the footsteps. I watched him turn around real fast. Gets them both. Clears out that push. Hermaluk's kind of pushing up that hedge, but he's going to take his time. Molly Boy goes down, but now Drackey's back with his squad, and he's kind of bridging that gap. This is the area that I said that they should be kind of pushing up to and holding, and the other squad can push down to it. They're doing exactly that. So nobody listens to me. Don't listen to what I say. These guys already know what they're doing, clearly. I'm just speculating. I like to speculate on what I see. Rush pushes up, claims that there was an OP there, saw the spawn in. They took him out, but I think he got that OP. I don't see the OP. He must have got it. Good job for uh, BFTB taking out that OP. Sorry for bothering you. I want to offer you promotion to your channel. You, uh, the price is lower than the competitor. Yeah, you're going to get blocked from my channel in about two seconds. I'm not paying anybody for anything, so uh, have a nice day. In the meantime... That's one of the reasons why I don't like Twitch. I never get those spam messages on YouTube. Whenever I'm on Twitch, I get it all the time. Anyways. Grandpa pushing up right here. BFTB is kind of pushing in there, pushing out the front door, I should say. Stopping Invictus right as they're attacking, though. They got a big cluster here. Let's look at the clock. We still got plenty of time on the clock. We started at 120, so we'll end at 50 minutes. Got BFTB pushing in. Again, this this is again this is again what I would consider overextending, but at the same time, I've certainly seen teams push their enemy right up into their garrisons and they just hold on the line and there's nothing the enemy team can do about it. Because because with 18s, there's yeah, you, know, you can't push way up and around and flank behind them. There's out of bounds rules. So 18s, you really can't do that. So I see now, let's see what happens here. Alexander did go down, so they cleared that out. Mando just holding his position back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do I have any tea left? I do. Mm. Tea. Delicious. Funk pushing down and around. Invictus just sending onesies and twosies down and around, trying to keep some pressure. I think they're just trying to see if they can slip past unnoticed, honestly. It's not really working. Ermaluk stuck right here in the middle of this fence. This is not a great position to be. I don't think you can shoot through this fence, though. The, the wood is weird. Some maps you can shoot through it, and other maps you can't. Yeah, he's got some reinforcements pulling up with Sullen. But Drackey's squad really holding on to those buildings. Let's move out of this center spot so I've stopped flipping around so fast. Invictus pushing back out now. Stopped that hard push from uh, BFTB. But BFTB still has a good strong hold on the center. Uh, Vjord, Mr. Winkle, Winkleberry pushing down around the south. Invictus almost kind of doing what BFTB did last time. They held the center and then pushed him out at the last few minutes. So let's see if Invictus does that or if they get held off. Let's see what happens. But they are pushing around down the south. Molly Bob goes down from Winkleberry. Hearing more shooting. Vjord goes down, I think, from Florian. If not, it was from Junk Joe. Winkleberry and LC flanking all the way and around. They don't have a squad leader with them. 
So this is just an attack. They're not going to be able to reinforce this attack unless they friendlies walk. Comet goes down. Wrinkleberry trying to get in. He is about to run into some shit, though. Eh, that sucked. <laughs> LC is about to run into that shit, too. Yeah, let's see what happens. Rough ta Rush takes some shots. Looks like LC got Koi Boy. But a lot of uh, BFTB guys are responding to that, heading that way. More Invictus guys trying to come in the front. What is Janice doing? Janice just holding on up there north of the tracks. Dracky squad caught a little bit of pressure down here, but they cleared it out. I didn't see it, but I see the bodies. They're still holding on to this house. This house, like I said, this is this is kind of the position down here. This house and this cluster of trees, you can see all the way south and you can see halfway north. You can hold on to all of these open areas down here. Okay, LC's take down Koi Boy. Molly Bob trying to flank out and around him, get behind him. Molly Bob gets LC. Somebody got Molly Bob. I didn't see who it was. I was watching Jord. How was it like freaking Carter way back here? I don't know who got him. I didn't see the shot. Anyways, he went down. Viking tried to push up right through the center. Let's see, he's gonna jump that wall. No, he got spotted and taken down by Rush. I know it's dangerous to jump that wall, but I have done it a bunch of times where you jump this wall between these cans and this building. Sometimes people don't notice. They're too busy looking that way and that way and every other way, and they don't notice that somebody just jumped that wall right there. But again, that's a public match. People are watching for that kind of stuff in these pro matches. So these tournament matches, Koi Boy and uh, B Rush facing. Ah, uh, that was a, looked like a big boom right there. Blew somebody to pieces. George just kind of holding his position. LC got shot, I think, from Harry. Harry, what is your name, Harry? You're a BFTV guy. Harry Spotter. Harry Spotter goes down. Oh, here comes Invictus pushing up that fence, trying to get into these trees. They, if they can get a hold of these trees again with an OP. Looks like Tattoo took down Sillin. He is awfully close. I think there's, yeah, as I say, I think there's like a wall there that's not loading in. Yep. Got Mando up on his wall, shooting that way. Sir Cartman holding on to the south, watching for infiltrators. However, Invictus, okay, Rush took him down, but Invictus is still trying to get a, a wedge in right here along the south edge of the point. And I wonder if that's what they're trying to do here, too, or just force everything up into here. It's hard to say. It's hard to say what they're planning to do. Obviously, it would be in their best interest to clear Drachy, Drachy squad out of here. There's the OP right there behind this house. Invictus seems to be coming from somewhere back there. Can't see the OP from where I'm at. I'm not going to go hunting OPs. We know they're back there somewhere. All right. BFTB's pushed a couple other guys south, cleared this out on the south side, make sure they're not getting flanked down there anymore. Popol still pushing up to the south. Valhalla still holding his position. I hear Ju Jukajo way back here shooting his MG down the straight down the tracks. Looks like he's shooting at Easy and Vergulf. Toka, Florian, Harry Spotter holding on to the center. Winkleberry looks like he's bandaging up. Who is LC shooting at? Where is he? I'm trying to figure out what he's shooting at. I think he's. I think he's shooting over here. Do you realize there's just nobody there? That's possible. I'm all about the suppression. Where are you going, Draggy? Why are you vacating your position? Ooh, because they're starting to cap. That's why. He has no choice but to put pressure on. Let's see what he does. He gets taken down. His squad's still kind of holding their position. Let's see if Andre pushes north. Koi Boy, Rush, and Toka pushing around down the south flank. k getting into the center. This is exactly what I said that Invictus could do. This is what happened last match to Invictus. Maybe this is just how this map works, you know, this, you come, you come sliding into this little sliver of houses along this south road and it can get you up in there. 
looks like Drackey's squad is getting pushed really hard by Nelson and Sillen. They took out the OP. Drackey got cleared out. Now, we know the OP was there, and Drackey's dead. So now this entire BFTB flank just got crushed. That's gone. He's going to have to spawn back in at one of the garrisons. That's rough for BFTB this late in the match. Ten minutes left. He can still take it back, but... Look at this push from Invictus. There's smoke everywhere. There's troops flooding in. Infantry just flooding through these streets and courtyards. Oh, it's so beautiful. Grandpa takes down K-Mac. Har Harkaz trying to get in here. Him and Florian right next to each other. I got my shit all zoomed in. All right, Florian takes him down, but... Oh, Edric pushes in the backside, takes down Florian. Now they're in the courtyard. They're pushing it from the south too. Grandpa trying to clear out LLC. He takes out Winkleberry, but one of them got Grandpa. Molly Bob pushing up on the backside of this uh, warehouse, trying to hold on to the point from the point. Like that is the center right here. Like I said, that uh, water tower is the center. So I can't see if that's scrolled down or not. There's no chat in my chat. So. No chat. There's no chat in that chat, but there is chat in that chat. Still trying to figure out Twitch again. Invictus had a good push going on. In the split second I was bitching about Twitch, it looked like BFTB got a nice spawn in or pushing back in. There's huge contesting going on here in the center. But Invictus, when they took hold of this south side, they just swung straight through. I don't know where they placed their OP. I'm going to guess that Cartman is waiting for them to not be looking this way anymore, and he's going to push in look for it. I don't see it. There it is. There's the OP. Nope, that's just a brick. Just a brick. False alarm, it's just a brick. I don't know where they placed the OP. They might have actually placed it closer. There's Nelson there, up here in this set of trees. So he probably pushed up closer. Are you shooting? I think that's just right below me. Oh, yep. So, yeah, all the fighting is up here in the center now. Let's, sw let's swing up over here. We don't have to look south anymore for the next couple of minutes, maybe. Hear a lot of shooting. Valhalla trying to position himself to... Oh, yeah, so he's looking down this way into this smoke. So if BFTB tries to push down this road, they got it smoked up right now. We'll see what happens. But Valhalla's looking this way. I can hear shooting from over here, too. Wallinator's down here in the south. He's trying to get down and around back there again. Where's Cartman? Sir Cartman's back over here now. I don't know if he walked or if he died. BFTB might have an OP down here somewhere on the south side. I don't want to look at the map. I've said it before in my sixes matches. I don't like to look at the map because you can only see one side. And it's not really fair to be able to see one team spawns and not see the other. I know there's a 15 minute stream belay, but it's still possible to get stream snipers for that kind of stuff. If Drackey had been up there in that house that whole time, they could have looked and been like, there's his, there's his OP. That's the point of stream delay, I know, but it still can happen. I've heard people talk about it. More so with 5-minute stream delays than 15, but there's a lot of fucking action going down here at the bottom. Holy shit. Quit running your mouth, Gumo. There's stuff happening. Winkleberry takes out a couple down here. Ermaluk posts up behind that house. Andre in these bushes. Andre goes down from Winkleberry. Some rockets coming in from... I think that was Sillin taking the long shot. Sir Cartman pushing up the backside of them. Let's shift over here and see if Cartman can get in behind him. Negative. He goes down. Didn't even see who got the shot. Kind of looked like it was Alexander. Tattoo. Looks like he's dueling with Alexander. Yep, he got Alexander. is out of there. Still a lot of smoke in the street. Valhalla holding his position with the MG. Shift up here to this side. Looking south. It's like you don't really notice how big that hill is so you come down here and look up at it. It's like, yeah, that's some high ground. Man, Invictus is really getting in here now. They got it. Mm, it's contested. Got six minutes left, so it can really go back and forth. Koi Boy goes down. Toka goes down. Or Toka's still there, shooting south. Invictus. Okay, they got an OP here in the center. That's a good spot in. They're really getting this cap going. Some rockets going down. It's a swing and a miss. I hear shooting from behind me back here. I think it's these guys here. Yeah, it was Andre. That was definitely the... Uh, some or the, the STG, right? That's the STG. That's the 
I am doing bad with remembering what things are called today. I'm sorry. I don't know what's up with that. I guess I'm just too excited. Ref check E7, that's not good. Somebody who's going out of bounds. Nobody's out of bounds. Nobody went out of bounds. Oh, man. Look at the... Alright, so it's right up here in the center now. K-Mac right there behind that wall underneath the water tower. Oh! Valhalla gets blown into a million fucking pieces with a nice swell-placed rocket. I didn't even see it. That was Sir Cartman. Blew him into some more pieces just for just for good measure. Double tapped him with a rocket. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh shit. Everything's kind of backed off a little bit. Oh, yeah, I don't like stretch my shoulders. I haven't moved at all in a few minutes. I'm like fucking zoned in. Still a push going here in the center. Back up a little bit. Swing more down to the south. BFTB kind of spreading out, trying to push Invictus out of here. Got Rush shooting some flank fire down here on the south side. Looks like these are the furthest south guys at the moment. I don't know where Nelson's OP is anymore, but he's definitely they're definitely coming up from over here somewhere. It's probably maybe in this road. Oh, there it is. Yep. Toko, I don't think he was see there a second ago. Is there no? They would have killed an OP if it was there. Rush taking shots at Funk. Doesn't get him. BFTB. They got uh, a couple guys looking that way. But they're mostly just trying to push in the center and get stop this cap. Invictus has got it about half cap now. We're looking at three and a half minutes on the clock. We're getting down there to where whoever has it, has it. Taking a look around. There's still a little bit of shooting on the south, but it's it's all right here. Looks like BFTB got a big spot in the center, so they're trying to pull that cap back. They are pulling the cap back. Valhalla gets his MG position again down on the street. He's trying to get back up there. Get back up to his rocks. Please don't blow me up. Sir Cartman moving up to the north. Kind of feels like there's a lot of uh, just searching for each other right now. Andre trying to push out and around. He is about to... Ooh, ooh, he spotted easy first. He missed. Oh, he's got, he got uh, Edric back there and then gets taken down, but that was a good push. That was a good push. He killed a couple guys. Stalled up that attack a little bit. Funk, Herbaluck, and Nelson still down here on the south side. Looks like BFTB did pull it back. They've got a lot of guys here in the center now. They're just... They're really holding this. They're really pushing to hold the center now that we're down to the last couple minutes. Same with uh, Invictus. They're trying to push around this courtyard, try to get in here. Oh, man. K Mac doesn't know it, but it'd be a good time to get up and over that wall. I don't know if you can jump it right there. I think you can only jump it right here. He's throwing grenades. I saw that. He popped one up and over. Didn't get anybody. He's trying to flank around, and Victor's trying to flank around. Let's back up a little bit and see what happens here. Mm, man. There's a good push going on by uh, Invictus. I swear to God, I just called Invictus Ermalok a second ago. <laughs> Don't do that. 50, 50, yep. Uh. We got a minute 30 seconds left. They can't get the full cap, but they can get contested. They can still get their contested point if they contest this. So they're pushing hard. Pushing hard. They got a good envelopment going up on the north side, just, just north of the tracks. Now would be a good time for them to swing down. Fortunately, BFTB seems to know they're there. Viking coming all the way around. He got taken out. I don't know who got him. One of these guys over here. I think maybe Molly Bob spotted him. Ooh, man. BFTB is really hemmed in right here in the circle. Like, they, they've, they've beat out because of the clock. But if it wasn't for the clock, I feel like Invictus has a good attack going on right now. They're really spread out and around them. And they did. I don't know. BFTB kind of spotted a bunch of their guys and cleared them out. They had a really good, like, 
going up on the top. I just want to reach my hand up over here, but you can't see it anymore. Ah, I want to point at the screen like a weatherman. Uh, it looks like Invictus went down here on their front door. Push. Uh, Joni took him out. Cleared that out. They got a couple more guys coming in. We'll watch, see uh, what they do there. Is he building something? No, he's just looking around. They got a bunch of guys. I wonder if they're all going to jump that wall in unison. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Rush holding on this side of this building. Funk on the other side. Rush trying to clear it out. Almost. Uh, Invictus is starting the cap. So, um... So we'll, just, we'll see what happens. I think... I think technically this win belongs to BFTB, but... Oh, we're past 50 minutes and everybody's still fighting. I think this is just overtime. I think it's just overtime. I wonder if overtime works the same. Well, overtime must work the same as it does in the sixes. So it'll, it'll go until it's fully capped and not contested, I think. I haven't seen anybody call a GG, so... Invictus really pushing hard, though. There's a contested. It's going back up towards uh, BFTB now. They cleared out the south side. There goes most of Invictus's push. They got some more guys coming in the front. I mean, they got these guys up here in the north. We'll see what they can do. BFTB's got a good hold on the south, though. Good hold on the south in the center. There's another spawn in, too. Try to pull it back. Try to pull it back. Jackie up here on the crane. He's going to go up. That was a mistake. Down he goes. Yeah, I feel like it's not a good idea to go up on the cranes when everybody's this close in. That's that's a sniping thing. Ooh, Viking. Where'd you, how'd you get away? He swung all the way around. He's in the back now. Invictus. They're, they're trying. They're trying really hard. BFTBs now, they're just clinging down to the south side. They're not even in the center anymore. Invictus starting to swing it back the other way now. They got a big spawn in coming straight up the front. See if Molly Bob can stop them. He's not even looking. He ran into the smoke, took some shots. He went down. He was trying to pull back. Let's see if Toka sees any of this. He's on the wrong side of the hedge. He's not going to be able to see it. Invictus. My goodness, what a push. What a push. Looking real good. BFTB trying to do the same thing down on the south, but Invictus at the moment has more guys. Not sure where Popel came came from. He's up here in this courtyard. They're holding on to it, facing off with Ermaluk. Ooh, somebody tossed a grenade. Obviously Ermaluk, but could have been one of those other guys. He backed off from the wall. I think Ermaluk's tossing more grenades over the wall. Who the fuck just shot him? Somebody from the window back there? How did they shoot him in that courtyard? Must have, must have been him back here in that window all the way back there. I think that's where that rocket came from. Some, some good shooting for that rocket because he blew him to pieces. All right, BFTB is starting to get a nice push back into the center now. It's contested, contested. Swinging back towards Invictus. This is an all-out slugfest now. All-out slugfest. Toka goes down. Now Invictus is back up in here in the center. Nelson is trying to keep him from flanking around on the south. Rush trying to get around behind him. Ooh, Florian got him in the middle of a reload. That sucks. That happens to me so often. Mando with his machine gun trying to keep him out. He goes down. Map was changed. There's the GG. The thing went full. And we have game number two goes to BFTB. Congratulations, BFTB. Now, pretty, pretty sure that's it. It's my understanding there's just two matches in the 18th. Yeah, everybody's leaving. That's the GG. Congratulations, BFTB, on your victories. Uh, good job, Invictus, on your hard fighting. Nobody can say you didn't try. So with that being said, go ahead and shut her down there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and download this, chop it up a little bit, throw it up on YouTube. So if you can, please watch it on YouTube. That's, that's the channel I'm trying to grow. So in the meantime, everybody have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>